In this video, I'll show you how to speed up your computer or laptop. We all like that feeling when getting a brand new computer. The speed at which files and programs open seems blazing fast. Over time, that fresh computer feeling fades. Those programs and files tend to take longer to open and close. There are many reasons as to why your computer is slowing down. Today I'll show you several methods on how to speed up your PC. And that's coming up next on Tech Gumbo. These steps that I show you should be done in roughly the same order that I give them to you. It's always a good idea to back up your computer before making any changes. Your first step should be to get rid of any unnecessary junk files in the Windows operating system, the Windows registry, and third-party programs like your web browsers. To do this, you can use a free system cleaner like CCleaner. I'll provide links for all products mentioned in the description of this video. CCleaner offers a free version and a paid version. For now, I would recommend downloading and installing the free version to see how that works for you. Once you have CCleaner installed, open it up. I just leave everything on the defaults for the Windows and Applications tabs. Your needs may vary. Click Analyze. and then wait for it to analyze your system. Analysis complete. And once that's done, click on Run Cleaner and wait for it to finish. The second step is to remove unwanted programs that are not just taking up hard drive space, but may be automatically opening with Windows running in the background using your processor and memory. To remove unwanted programs, right click on the Start menu, Select Control Panel, then select Programs and Features. One by one, highlight and uninstall all programs you have no use for anymore. While you're at it, this might be a good time to go through your folders and get rid of any files, photos, videos, etc. that you no longer need to free up some space on your hard drive. The third step is to defrag your hard drive. Defragging will consolidate all the empty spaces on your hard drive that are created as you add and remove files. These empty spaces cause your hard drive to take longer to think, which in turn makes folders, files, and programs open more slowly. There are several free defrag tools available. My personal favorite is made by the same company that makes CCleaner. It's called Defragler. Just like CCleaner, Defragler offers a free and a paid version. I've only used the free version and it works very well. After installing Defragler, open it up. Select the drive that you want to defrag. And then click on Analyze. I won't do this now because the process takes quite a while. When that's finished, it's time to defrag. You'll have two options for defragging. You'll have the normal defrag and a quick defrag. If it is your first time, select defrag. A word of warning, this may take hours to complete on your computer. A useful tab within Defragler that I like to check periodically is the Health tab. It shows the health and the temperature of your drive. Temperature can be changed to Fahrenheit or Celsius in the options. Step four is to remove any viruses, malware, adware, and spyware from your computer. If you have a virus on your computer, it usually stores itself in the system memory, causing everything to slow down. Use your favorite antivirus software to get rid of these memory hogs. Don't just rely on Windows Defender. If you need a free antivirus solution, I created a video counting down the top five free antivirus software. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Once you have your antivirus software installed, you should periodically scan your computer for viruses and malware to get rid of these memory hogs. Step five is to adjust the visual effects on your computer. 
Windows provides quite a few visual effects, including fading menus and animated windows. These are okay to be turned on, but only if you have enough memory to support these effects. To adjust these effects, right click on the Start Menu icon, select Control Panel, select System, then click on Advanced System Settings in the left pane. In the Advanced tab, select Settings under the Performance heading. Then adjust these settings to meet your computer's needs. You can adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or you can individually tick these on and off. Step six just might be the most impactful step. Upgrade your RAM. Over the years, I've had to upgrade the RAM several times. Doing so, I've seen significant increases in performance. Also, upgrading your video card can significantly improve video gaming performance and can help make video editing tasks get done faster. Before upgrading your hardware, you may want to use a free system information tool so you don't have to open up your computer. My go-to is Speccy. It's another fine software product from Pyroform. I promise you I'm not being paid or sponsored by Pyroform for this video. They just make really good free software that I like. And they offer a free version and a paid version. I just go with the free version, just like the other software I mentioned earlier. When you open Speccy, it will do an automatic scan of your system. Once this is done, you can see multiple specs for your computer. I usually go with the double up rule for RAM when deciding to upgrade. For example, if your system has 2 gigabytes of RAM, it might be a good idea to upgrade to 4 or even 8 gigabytes. The system I'm working on now, as you can see, came with 16 gigabytes of RAM. If I were to upgrade, I would probably go with 32. Also, click on RAM here in the left panel. It's important to see how many memory slots that you have available for RAM. As you can see here, uh, two of the memory slots are currently being used. So from that, I can assume each one has eight gigs installed on it, on each slot. So I'd wanna get two more with eight. That would give me a total of 32 covering four memory slots. Upgrading your RAM just might be the best thing you can do to speed up your computer. If for some reason none of these steps work for you, then the most drastic solution is to do a clean install of your operating system. You should really think twice about doing this step because it is irreversible. If you do this, make sure to back up your files and make a record of any programs that you want to make sure you reinstall. One positive of reinstalling your operating system is that your computer will feel like it's brand new, free of software and registry changes and errors you didn't know you had since you acquired your computer. Hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Let me know in the comments if any of these steps made your computer faster. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, click on the subscribe button below this video for more tech tutorials, best of lists, and other stuff from Tech Gumbo.